friends, what is up and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I had what I'm going to consider a midlife crisis. I walked into my room and was like, I don't like my shelves. I don't like how many books I have. I don't like this impending sense of guilt that I'm purchasing books or hoarding books that I don't read. So as you guys can tell from the title, I unhauled 100 plus books. And the last time I actually counted them it was like 130. Um, I am not going to be showing every single book in this haul unhaul though because we would be here for 10,000 years but I am going to cover almost all of them. Some of them are ones that I have repeats of and that's why I'm getting rid of them so I probably won't cover those. Some of them are you know just books that maybe I read that I didn't really like that kind of thing so I'm gonna kind of pick and choose which ones I do share with you today but I hope you guys are excited. This is going to be extensive. I do also have a bookshelf tour coming because as you guys can tell I got new bookshelves because I was like these bookshelves that I had are not conducive to the space that I want to have in my room or you know I wanted to have more of an option to like put my plants and stuff because on traditional bookshelves my plants don't tend to live very long so it is also a space saver put on Twitter if you guys wanted to see that and you guys said you did so that is going to be coming eventually when I feel like actually filming it because bookshop tours obviously take forever I'm gonna go ahead and get started though because this like I said this unhaul is going to be very very long let me know down below the last book you got rid of um, what you do with books you do get rid of I know some people donate them to tiny libraries some people donate them to their library I currently need money so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and sell them so I'm gonna be hitting up a couple of half price books today to sell them so let's get started no more waiting because this is going to take forever all right I just grabbed a few gonna go ahead and get started first one I have here is the Guinevere Deception tried to read this didn't like it ended up just I think I got like three-fourths of the way through it and was like I'm absolutely bored I think this was also featured in an unhaul previously but I couldn't find it so now that I found it it's definitely going to get sold next one that I have here is Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman stuff is very hit or miss for me. This unfortunately was a miss. I was trying to read it, was sort of enjoying it, and then it kind of just like lost the plot for me. I know a lot of people like this, which is part of the reason why I'm selling it, because a lot of these books I want people to have, um, so that's why I'm going to be selling this one. Next one I have is one that I've had for forever, haven't read, decided, okay, it's time to go ahead and just unhaul it. It'd be Dragon Age The Masked Empire. This is by Patrick Weeks. Um, like I said, this is just a book that I've had for forever that I haven't read, seen no reason to keep it. Also, disclaimer, if you see a book in here that you really like, I'm sorry that I, for one reason or another I'm getting rid of it. That's the only kind of disclaimer I'm going to do on this video. Uh, next one I have here is Tagana by Guy Gabriel K. This is a very extensive book and I am not in the mood for extensive and every time I go to pick it up I'm like this is gigantic who has the time to read this not me and that's why I'm gonna pass it along. Um, this was actually a book that one of my author friends recommended to me so I'm kind of sad but also like any of these books that I'm getting rid of if I want to read them later I can just borrow from the library or purchase them again if I feel ever so inclined so I don't necessarily feel bad about unhauling any of these. Next one I have here is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. This is a mass market paperback, not the reason I'm getting rid of it. I did really like this book, but I feel like it has jumped in popularity because of the show, so I do want to pass it along to somebody. This is a really like hard read for me in the sense of it took me absolutely forever. As somebody who does read books pretty quickly, um, this kind of drug on for me, so I know I'm not going to reread it, and I don't see a point in having it on my shelves. Like I said, hopefully somebody else can get better use out of it. The next book that I have here is a book that I recently read and did really enjoy. Um, um, I don't like deckled edges, however, and I just want to pass it along to somebody else because, once again, a book I'm not going to reread. Be Sisters of the Winterwood, you guys know I did really, really like this. So, I mean, I really had to choose my books when it came to unhauling them to fit them on the shelf because my goal is to unhaul books if I'm bringing in new books that I really like. Uh, I have my TB or have my book cart um, which has my TBR pile on it everything behind me I've read so books don't fit on this shelf for one reason or another something else has got to go so this is one of the ones that didn't make that cut unfortunately another book that I read not gonna reread is The Wicked by James Newman also really liked this but it like I said it's not it's one of those books that once you've read it there's why go back and reread it at least for me so as beautiful as this cover is as much as I love this book I just I'm not gonna keep it um, and the last book in this pile that I have is a book that everybody really wants me to read but I just I, I don't know why I just I, I can't and it sucks because everybody loves this Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo this is my friend Brianna one of her absolute favorite books so I'm sad that I'm not in the mood to read it but like I said I've had it for a long time been sitting on my shelves time to just go ahead and unhaul it because it is wildly popular and somebody else is really going to want it 
Next one I have here is one that we were reading for bi-monthly book club, which I never got around to, and it'd be Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Don't really know what this is about, just know that I couldn't read it, couldn't even start it, no bother in trying at this point. Automatic Eve. Um, this is a book that was actually sent to me from the publisher, which I did really like it, uh, but I just once again am not going to reread it because it is one of those books that has like a little bit of a sense of mystery to it. So once you kind of figure out the ending of the book, I just know that I'm not going to go back and reread it. Here's a book that I bought with the intentions of reading because of a show. Um, lost interest in the show, lost interest in the book, kind of sad about it, but it'd be Altered Carbon by Richard Morgan. Um, this is, like I said, a another hugely popular show and I think people would really like to read the book so why hold on to it. Uh, next book I'm going to get rid of, this basically is the last Victoria Schwab book that I own and it'd be City of Ghosts. Really like it, um, I really like this series, I have the second one from the library right now, I'm hoping to get around to reading it soon, but I see no point in keeping this because I just it, it, like it's a middle grade book which isn't necessarily bad by any means, but because the story is so simplistic, because it is a middle grade book, I know I'm not going to reread it. Um, then the last book in this pile that I have is The Wicked Deep. Really liked this book when I read it, like, a lot. I really, really like Shay Earnshaw's stuff, but I just know I'm not going to reread this because it is more of a teen book than I would say even YA. And once again, once you kind of figure out the plot, because there is, like, a big twist and turn at the end of the book, there's just no reason for me to reread it. And I do want to pass it along, and this edition is absolutely beautiful. I have five of the next books to show you, and I actually got these from Half Price Books. They are these big compendiums. Um, I have Mystery Short Stories, Lovecraft Short Stories, H.G. Wells Short Stories, Sword and Steam Short Stories, and Dystopia Utopia. These are very beautiful editions and Half Price actually sells these like in mass, but I know I'm not going to read them so I'm hoping they'll take them for like 10 cents or whatever just to get rid of them because they take up, like I'm not joking, so much room on my shelves and I just, I don't, I don't want to keep them. Now this next one that I have to show you, this next purge um is one that i'm actually kind of sad about but i've just realized that this author is not for me uh, oh god i have nosferatu by joe hill i have heart-shaped box by joe hill and i have horns by joe hill i don't know what it is but i think trying to read nosferatu and being completely bored i just realized that he wasn't the author for me i don't really enjoy his writing style obviously nothing against him or people who do enjoy his books but just not one that i'm absolutely in the mood to read um the next one is one that was sent to me from the publisher and I just know that I'm not going to get around to it. It's been sitting on my shelves for a really long time and it'd be Revenger by Alistair Reynolds. Don't really know what this is about. I mean, it didn't really pique my interest at all. I don't know if this is one that was randomly sent to me. I work with Orbit pretty frequently and I tend to really like the books that they send me, but this one just didn't really... Like, it didn't sound interesting to me. Of all the books that I unhauled, I think that I only have, like, two from Orbit. So they are a publisher that I do trust, and um, the ladies who work there, who usually send me books, are really good at choosing ones that they think I would like. This may have been one that I requested, that I was interested in at the time when I was reading more adult sci-fi, but for me right now, it's just not really something that I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, buckle down and read a really depressive sci-fi book. The next one I have makes me really sad, but it'd be The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton. I was trying to make my way through my Michael Crichton books, but I've just realized that other than like Jurassic Park, the interest just isn't there. Um, there are actually four of the next books I'm going to show you, and it's because it's a series, but I can't find the other two. So I have the first one and the fourth one right here, but it'd be the Otherlands series or yeah, Otherlands by Tad Williams. I've been talking about this for a really long time. I've had these for like three or four years, still haven't read them. I really like these editions. I think they're gorgeous and I do like the, I like mass market paperbacks but like I said I've had these for a really long time they were a recommendation from a friend and I don't know if like my interest has just waned in them or what um but I've had them for so long and still haven't read them so I think it's time to pass them on Ooh, here are a few more sad ones that just didn't make the cut the melancholy death of oyster boy by Tim Burton because no I love Tim Burton but I've read this it's like a kind of like a poem short story book, but I'm obviously not going to reread it. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This is another one of those books that once you know the ending, it's kind of like, man, do I really want to go back and read it? Also, it's readily available at the library if I ever get like the itch to reread it, but you guys know this is one of my favorite books of all time. So this on is going to be a bit weird for I think a lot of people. Uh, next one is Death by Black Hole and Other Cosmic Quandaries by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I love him. I think he's amazing. Um, I know there's been some talks recently of some things that have happened in the past. I don't really know the full extent of that, um, but I just know that like these kinds of books I'm not going to reread, so why keep them? Definitely books that I would recommend getting from the library. Uh, next one I have is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I'm getting rid of a lot of Gaiman. I think I think I'm getting rid of all but like two Gaiman books, which is really sad. Um, but once again, I just have seen no reason in rereading them. So The Graveyard Book, which is a 
like I think it's like a middle grade book if I remember correctly. Uh, next one I'm getting rid of is Neverwhere. The reason why I'm getting rid of this one, this is my favorite Neil Gaiman book. The reason why I'm getting rid of this one is because I actually have a special edition of it. So I've seen a reason in keeping this one and hopefully somebody else will get a good use out of it. That is one giant Ikea bag down. Selling these later is going to be a huge pain in my ass. All right, the next few make me really sad, but once again, not going to reread them. I have War Warcross and Wild Card by Marie Lu. I recommend this series to a lot of people. I do really like it. If you like the um, alternate reality, uh, like virtual reality kind of books, you'll really like these, but I see no reason in rereading them. Uh, it, but it really sucks because I do truly love the series. Next book I have is one that I read the first one, really, really enjoyed it, but had no desire to pick up the second one for some reason and be Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lena Popovic. I truly love this book when I read it, but once again, I, I just haven't picked up the second one, so I'm, I feel like I'm kind of like wasting time just keeping it. Next book I have, I sort of remember the plot of it. It's about a baseball player, I believe, or something who comes back to a small town following like the like his entire career falls apart and there's a girl there and she like forces him to become like you know non-complacent and to basically rejoin society but the problem with this book is I found him incredibly misogynistic and it ruined the story for me and I'm shocked by how much I didn't like it. Uh, Be Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. I think it was this book. I, I'm pretty sure because the main character like buys a house and the guy's like oh like why do you do certain things or why do you act a certain way and like a lot of their like sexual encounters were really cringy to me so I was like I'm not gonna reread this so it needs to go. Another one that I recently read that I'm also really sad that I didn't love as much as I wanted to be Love Unscripted by Owen Nichols. You guys know like I said this was a very recent read. It's probably one of the last like full books I read in the last couple of months but I just didn't like it. I, I think I gave it three stars not the worst read I've ever had but not enough to take up room on my shelves no matter how beautiful I think at the time I said this is like one of the most beautiful covers like the colors and everything but we're moving past that in 2020. I don't have room in my life to keep shit that I don't actually want. <laughs> All right we got another Neil book. It's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. Cute book, very short, not worth the reread. Um, next one I have here is a manga and it's Escape Journey. This is a male male romance and as much as I wanted to love it and wanted to read it, it is kind of I don't know, I have trouble reading male male romances written by women and this is one that is written by a woman so I was just like, we're just gonna not read that. Uh, next one I have here is one that I think I got from a subscriber and really wanted to love but I don't know, I just have had it for a while. I think I got like 25 pages into it and was really bored to be Solaris. Um, kind of sad about this. Don't even remember the plot anymore. I think it's about a man who goes to another planet where like his wife and some other researchers are supposed to be but they are actually not there anymore. There's like a virus that's living there I think I don't know see this is why I gotta get rid of it next one I have here is the best laid plans by Carmen Lund this one I will probably give away um I'll probably give this to my best friend Rosie because I know she really wanted to read it and it is an arc so I'm not going to be selling this one I am going to be giving this to her and a few of the books that I have here I'm actually going to be also giving to my roommate so this one I need to set somewhere else because that's going to go to her once I'm able to like actually sell and move through some of this <laughs> All right, now we're moving into the comics. So I'm gonna blow through these. I have Zodiac Star Force. I think they canceled this one. I have Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. Really cute, like the art. I like the different kind of story that he tells in this, but not gonna read it again. Odd and the Frost Giants, also really liked this, but once again, not going to read it again. Um, Shadow of the Batgirl, I thought this was pretty enjoyable. Like the alternate Batgirl story, but not gonna read it again. Uh, Harley Quinn Breaking Glass, liked this enough, but definitely one of my least favorite ones that I've read from them. These are actually sent to me from DC, so I'm obviously not going to be rereading this because I wasn't absolutely in love with it. Not the worst, um, but not the best. All right, got another big stack of comics. So the next few that I'm gonna talk about are ones that I got from a comic book subscription that I've had for a while when I wanted to start expanding on my comic book collection, but I haven't gotten around to reading them. I've had them for like three or four years. I have Armor Hunters, don't know what it's about, part of the reason why I'm getting rid of it. I have Faith, which is sad because she is a plus size, um, like you can tell, she's like a plus size superhero and I thought I was really gonna like this, but my interest in it also waned. I have Renegades Harbinger, once again, no idea what that's about. I have Harbinger Wars, once again, no idea what it's about. Hasn't really caught my interest. You'd think I'd read these because they are so short, but I did not. Um, I have Love Lock and Key, Welcome to Lovecraft by uh, Joe Hill. Not going to read it because we know for some reason Joe Hill is just not for me. Um, Kronos Commandos, which is like a dinosaur kind of army story. Not going to read that. Um, and then I have The Four Points, which I may have actually read at one point, but I don't remember what it is about, so no point in keeping that. I have here 
Rat Queens Volume 1, completely given up on this series. There's been too much drama surrounding it, not really interested for me anymore. I have Low, which you guys know I read the first one, this one right here. Didn't like it, won't be continuing on with the series. I think the plot line is just incredibly stupid. Um, I have The Book of Death, one of those books that once again don't really know what it's about. Um, I have Saga Volume 1. reason why I'm getting rid of this is as you can see some, somewhere on my shelves down here, uh, Boston actually got me the first compendium, so that's how I'm going to be collecting them from here on out. So I've seen no reason to keep this one because it is wildly popular and would like it to be readily readily available at half price, because um, that's usually where I try to find them. Rat Queens Volume 2, I think I only have the first two volumes, and like I said, there's no reason in continuing. Um, and then Service Tension, which I did really enjoy. Um, I read it a couple years ago, but haven't picked up the second one, see no reason in keeping the first if I'm not actually going to complete the series. And then we have ones that I've been collecting, well I mostly collected them when I was in California and I'm up to volume 7. This is an extensive series, I see no reason in continuing my kind of like journey with the series, whether it comes to the show or the comic books, definitely has waned over the years. I haven't seen the last like five seasons, six seasons, something like that. It is kind of ridiculous how much I was into this season at a time, or into this series at a time though, um, but it'd be The Walking Dead. So I'm getting rid of my seven volumes of The Walking Dead. Um, these are also really popular at half price, so I'm hoping that somebody who's really hunting for the series will find these and be really excited about it. All right, now as you can tell, up here is my Stephen King collection. If you can't tell, I got rid of quite a few Stephen King books. Now these are either books that I don't want to read, have read and didn't like, have attempted to read and didn't like. So I have Joyland, does not spark my interest, so I won't be reading that. I have Gerald's Game, which uh, for me just didn't seem like something I was really going to enjoy. Just hearing about the overall plot line of it, it just seemed like something very traumatic that I would be like, yo, I don't like this, so I'm not going to be reading that. Um, I also have on writing, at one point in time I wanted to be an author. I have been published, like, with poetry, um, but for me, like, this kind of writing doesn't really appeal to me. I think I just bought this because I was like, oh, Stephen King, like, I really want to read that. Um, and then I have a random Brent Weeks book in here, Black Prism. I hate this edition. I do like the series, although I don't like Kip very much, but I have heard that he becomes a much more enjoyable character, so in the future, if I'm ever so inclined, I can get the second one from the library, read that, and if I am finding Kip more enjoyable, or at least tolerable, then I will go and actually pick up the series, because I think the magic in this is really cool, but also from what I've heard, Brent Weeks is an asshole, so I don't necessarily know if I want to continue. It's very weird in 2020 when it comes to authors because I feel like there's been a lot coming out recently and I don't really know where I stand with some authors so it's sort of hard to want to keep this but like I said if in the future I feel like I want to read it I can borrow it from the library if I'm feeling froggy. Second big bag empty. I don't know if you guys realize but these are those gigantic Ikea bags. I have two of those and then I also have a big ass box on the floor right here that I can't lift that I'm just gonna grab books out of it as I can. Got a lot of king over here. So I have the Dark Tower Concordance. This wasn't written by him, but it is a book that does kind of go with the Dark Tower series to sort of explain it. I didn't find the Dark Tower series that, you know, confusing, but I feel like it does do a lot of, like it has a lot to do with other series. So other books by him or other series. And I think if you have like the foreknowledge going into that series, it won't be super confusing. But if you haven't read a lot of King, I think it kind of can be because it does talk about a lot of stuff that happened in other worlds. Um, Black House by him and Peter Straub. Obviously I have talked about the reason why I don't read those books. I just, I'm not like, I'm not in the mood to read books that are him and other people um, because me and Steven aren't getting along very much right now. Um, I have Storm of the Century. Um, I have seen this on movie, kind of know the whole story, not really a book that I want to attempt to read. Rose Matter, I've had it for forever, haven't read it, uh, it's gotta go. <laughs> Lizzie's Story, look, I tried, this edition, let me just, whoop, let me just talk about, can you come off? Fine, be freaking difficult. This is the edition that I have, gorgeous edition. Uh, I hated this book, I attempted to read it, got I don't know, like 50 pages into it and was like, this is not for me, so that one's going. Um, and then I have Dolores Claiborne, which people said I would really enjoy, but I've had it for forever, haven't read it, it needs, it, it's, it's gotta go. I just, like I said, I just don't, if Steven doesn't fit on this shelf, he doesn't get to stay. So since I'm not buying any of his new stuff, because all of it is hot garbage, uh, I'm fine. I have, I have all the Steven room that I need. All right, even more Stephen King. Long Walk, hated it, not gonna reread it. Uh, <laughs> the Green Mile, hate this edition, is one of my favorite books, but there are some aspects of it now looking back that I think if I attempted to read, um, I wouldn't really enjoy it. I have The Dead Zone, had this for forever, still haven't read it. I think they did a show at one point as well. 
road work, read it, can't remember what it's about. Pretty sure this is a Richard Bachman book, um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna reread it. Most of the Stephen King stuff that I have, or all the Stephen King stuff that I have now, I would reread. Um, Went Through the Keyhole. This is a, think, um, A Court of Frost and Starlight to Sarah J. Mass. A complete money suck. Add on to the story. Absolutely hated it. I remember being so geeked when this book first came out. I like ran to Barnes, Barnes and Noble and was like, oh my god, I have to have it. Read it in a day and was super pissed off about it. So I don't care if that's technically part of the Dark Tower series, which by the way is my favorite series of all time. I'm not keeping it because it was bad. Um, this book is one that, this is the last Stephen King book, like newer Stephen King book that I read that I mildly enjoyed, but not enough to keep it. And it's kind of sad because it has a character from Mr. the Mr. Mercedes trilogy, which is, she's one of my favorite characters, but... I didn't, this book, like the ending of this book completely ruined it for me and it'd be The Outsider. So as much as I love this cover, it's gotta it's got go. Okay, I think these are the last of the Stephen King books I'm getting rid of. Yes, I told you I was getting rid of a lot. Firestarter, uh, don't want to read it. <laughs> the Talisman, him and Peter Straub, once, once again, don't want to read books with him and other authors. Um, Carrie, uh, this is a book that's basically been ruined by media and all the couple of movies they did and everybody talking about it. It's a very old book and the plot line for me just I, I don't really care about it. Um, the Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I have bad memories associated with this book in particular like this physical book. Might repurchase. I think I'm gonna borrow it from the library see if I like the story and then if I do I will purchase it again but I just don't want that edition. Salem's Lot. One of the most boring Stephen King books I've ever attempted to read. I think I finished most of it. I got at least 75% of the way through it. I'm on page. Ooh a bookmark. I am on page 246, so I am this far into the book. This is what I have read. But it's boring, and I don't like it. And I think it's like a vampire story, and like, I don't know. We can do better. We can do better with our time and the books that we choose to read. If you're not liking a book, you find it boring, fucking get rid of it. Quit reading it. DNF it. Say goodbye. All right, a few random books here. We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. There's been some drama surrounding Sean. I loved this book, but definitely a book that I'm not going to read again because, I mean... I know the entire story at this point. Um, Every Heart a Doorway by Sean and McGuire. Uh, I don't think her writing style is for me. I really liked this book when I did read it, but I don't know, her writing style is too, like what's the word? It's like she's trying to write poetry, but she was like, no, I have too much to say and decided to make it into a book. Uh, Michael Crichton, I have next, not gonna read that. I've had that one for forever. Uh, this one has the Andromeda Strain, Terminal Man, and the Great Train Robbery in it, um, which it's like a, you know, big, one of those like pendiums. Obviously not going to read that. Um, I have Micro by him and Richard Preston. I was interested, look how handsome he is. I was interested in reading this, but I think I've just realized that my interest in Michael Crichton, other than Pirate Latitudes, which I did really enjoy, um, is limited pretty much to Jurassic Park. I tried to read Prey and didn't like it. Now I think that he does have a really succinct writing style, and I think a lot of people would enjoy his books, but unfortunately at this time, that ain't me. All right, the next book that I have here is one that I'm really sad about, but I just didn't like it. I'm hoping somebody else will. It'd be The Bride Test. I tried to read this I found it really unsettling in certain places and I found the romance kind of really jarring. Um, I think in the original book that she wrote, um, I really liked the romance and I liked that it, there was an autistic main character and there was representation and it was done really well. Um, but for some reason that one just didn't sit right with me. The next series that I'm going to be getting rid of is The Illuminate Files by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. What is, ooh, another bookmark. Um, I loved this series, but here's the thing. The more books by them that I read, the more I realize they are carbon copies of each other and Jay tends to write carbon copy books of himself. And so this, I don't care. Like I'm reading Aurora Burning right now and I'm like, my God, it is the Illuminate Files over and over again. I did keep Aurora Rising because I loved that book and I am probably gonna keep Aurora Burning for now, see how the third one goes. I'm assuming there's probably just gonna do exactly what they did here and do another three books. But I'm not gonna read these again. Um, they're definitely one of those books where like, oh, your faves are in danger. Just kidding, they get to live. Oh, we can't hurt your favorites. And I'm, I, I want blood. I want somebody to die. I want you to make it a good story, not like a suspenseful story. That isn't what I'm in the mood to read. So these gotta go bye-bye. And I know somebody's going to love getting these books at half price. I lied, I found another Stephen King uh, from a Buick 8. Don't really care to read it. Uh, the Winter Road by Adrian Selby. Tried to read this, was really excited to read it. Um, this was a book that I pondered getting rid of. This is the only other one by Orbit I think I have here. Um, the reason why I'm just going to be getting rid of this one, selling it, is because 
it took me, God, how many pages? I'm like 30, 40 pages into this and it took me days to get there. I don't know if I'm in the mindset for this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be in the mindset of this. And that is why I ended up unhauling it. If I really like it, I will go out and, or if I have the want to read it again, I'll go out and purchase it because I truly love Orbit and have no qualms with buying books from them. Um, this is one that was randomly sent to me. And like, I don't mind buying it again if I borrow from the library and end up really liking it. I will go out and purchase it to support them. But I don't want to keep a book on my shelf if I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to want to read it. Maybe I'll want to read it later. If it's a maybe, it's got to go. And this is unfortunately one of those. Uh, I have Leia, Princess of Alderaan, um, which is by Claudia Gray. Female author writing a Leia story. I think I read this. I may not have read this, but I just, I don't, I don't want to read it. Um, then I have Congo by Michael Crichton, once again a book that I probably won't ever reread. Um, this book is sad because this used to be my favorite book of all time, um, but I know I probably won't reread it, and it'd be We World by Clive Barker. If you haven't read this book you should read it, especially if you're into very fantastical well-written stories. Um, this is a really good choice, but you know I might keep it. No, I'm gonna buy a new copy if I ever want to reread it again, uh, but this one, I don't know. It's a good book, but I just... It was a maybe. And like I said, maybe's gotta go. I have so many fucking books on my bed right now. Like my bed is mostly books. It's not even a bed anymore. Ooh, I found another Stephen King. <laughs> the Stand. Don't want to read it. Simple as that. I just don't want to read it. Book that I really loved, actually. If you haven't read this book, you should read it. AB Station Eleven. Post-apocalyptic. Um, very good. I don't know the best way to describe this, but it's very like music based, storytelling based, like people, human, human interaction in post apocalyptic. Um, I don't know if it's in the US, I can't remember, but I really liked it, but I'm not going to reread it. So it's got to go. Next books I have here are really sad, but I just, I'm not going to reread them because the story is like, I know the entire story. And it's one of those books that isn't doesn't have strong enough characters to warrant a reread if you already know the ending. And they'd be Caraval and Legendary. You guys know I did really, really like these books when I read them. I like a lot, a lot. I think, am I missing one? Finale. No, I didn't buy Finale. Um, I did read it, but I didn't buy it. Um, so these gotta go. Look how beautiful they are. God, I'm so sad about it. But once again, maybe has gotta go. Some of these next ones might be sort of confusing to people. Uh, Timeline by Michael Crichton. I have Five Patients by Michael Crichton. This is a non-fiction if I remember right, but not gonna read it. One that I did like, but don't like enough to keep it, um, would be The Proposal. This, I think, was very hit or miss for people. This was more of a hit for me, but not one that I'm going to end up rereading. Um, and then I have Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrand. This is an author that I will definitely get from the library and enjoy the book, but don't necessarily feel the need to spend money on because stories are pretty simple, which was nothing wrong with a simple story, but like I said, not a book that I'm going to reread. It is very familial um, based and it's a beautiful book but like I said once you know the story kind of like what's the reason of rereading it it's definitely like one of those like Hallmark movie kind of vibes so you know like something you binge in a day but you don't necessarily want to go back and rewatch. This next one that I'm getting rid of um, is for a very specific reason and I am going to save the swag that I got but I already own a version of this book. I've owned three so I had my original arc, which I drew in and annotated and sent to Bunny. Then I have an arc from the author and she wrote notes in it and stuff and sent it to me. And then, well, I won it in a giveaway. So this version, I'm hoping, will put it in the hands of somebody else. And that'd be the 10,000 Doors of January. This is the final hardcover edition. Um, but I love my annotated one from Alex herself. So beautiful book. Love this book. Five stars. Everybody should read it. It's kind of confusing why I'm getting rid of it, but I hope you understand. Book that I've had for a really long time and haven't read, The Vagrant by James Newman. Really sad about that because I think I really wanted to read it. Trader Brew Cormorant. Cormorant? I don't know how to say this. Um, recommended from an author friend once again. Didn't end up reading it. It's gotta go. Tiger's Daughter. Tried to read it. Couldn't get into it. I know... I know one of my friends really, really likes this book. Her name is Sam, um, but it just wasn't for me. A Drift by Rob Fart. Oh, this is the other Orbit book that I'm getting rid of. Um, tried to read it, didn't really enjoy it. Or did I try to read it at all? I think the storyline just doesn't sound really cool. Spaceship that's like stuck in space and the another spaceship comes to like basically attack them and I'm, they like start running away. And I just, anybody who's seen Stargate Universe knows that just, just watch the show instead. Um, Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I have this on my Kindle, so, and I've read it. 
like I have a copy on my Kindle, do I really need a physical copy of a book that I'll probably never read again? Book that I'll never read again, but didn't really like, as you can tell by how I annotated it, be Genesis. This is by Bernard Beckett. Really cool discussion on humanity. Like absolutely, absolutely loved it. Um, I think I meant to donate this or something, but it's poetry and prose of Poe. Uh, Disclosure by Michael Crichton. Not gonna read it. Um, and a book that I really enjoyed, but I like her other book better. Um, it'd be Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. This is a great book. It's very, uh, I think for a lot of people it's really slow. Celeste is one of those authors that the further you get into the book, the more things start to make sense, the more things start to build. Very, very slow beginning. It's a really, really short book, so I think that's part of the reason why people do struggle with some of her stuff, but I think it's worth it. I really like the story, but I like Little Fires Everywhere so much more. That's it. We did it. We've gotten to the end of the books. Fucking finally. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs> Let me know down below, like I said, a book that you recently got rid of. I am gonna pack these up and go sell them and make some money. Well, and sort through which ones I want to give to my roommate. But I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in hopefully a shorter video next time. <laughs>